Hello, I'm MJ Haggis. We're playing my Let's Play of SnowRunner. We're in British Columbia on Season 10 and we're still in our Tega. We're going to go and collect some consumables just in a moment. On the map, as an update, we're down here at the Canned Food Factory construction site. And where I left off is this is the next destination for our consumables. And then we'll bring them all the way back. It's a bit of a pain to go all the way from there up to this factory to pick up the concrete slab. So what I was thinking we would do is we'll jump back in our coal orb. It's got no trailer attached, but it's kind of like stuck in the middle of no man's land at the moment. So I thought we would maybe just drive it north, pick up this sideboard semi-trailer, the vanilla one that was left down by the warehouse, grab that, pop up to the factory and then down with the slabs. That gets the coal orb back in action too. So it's kind of like best of both worlds there. Okay, match up to date. I think we should just get him up and about and on the move. Now we've not been up this route yet, so this is going to be interesting. I hope the road's fairly passable. In fact, I haven't even set any waypoints. I should probably do that too. Well, let's just get that done now. We're heading out that one there, across this bridge, and then into there. Now, I was concerned about fuel, but what I did notice, we have a scout fuel carrier sitting there. So there's 900 litres. So that's quite handy. Mm, I'm almost tempted to attach a winch to that and pull it down to the warehouse back there and just leave it it's probably more suited down there hey, where am I going already I'm way the wrong way I didn't even see an exit there oh, hold on big stones big stones you can get turned in there though I think was a sneaky exit. I didn't even really notice that one. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't think it was going to be the main one we were after. Right. Misty morning, but it's not raining, so I'm going to take that. I'm not going to drive in the muddy tracks at the moment, see what it's like. Okay, one of my specialist rickety old bridges. I was going to catch that telegraph pole. Right round you go, Tega. A fairly decent road so far. Actually, quite scenic. A little stream. Going past, very pleasant. I always find it very intriguing and clever how the modders can suss out how to make water courses, like running from this lake down, or as I would call a loch, downstream towards the sea. Like, how do they set that up? Right, nice and easy on the logs. That's nice of them to put these in. We're here. Right, let's take a nice and wide, ready for reversing back out again, because that's what we'll be doing. Where's that little scout fuel trailer? Tucked away somewhere. Anyway, let's grab our consumables. Now the question is, do I grab that little? It's, it's just there. No, uh, how are we doing for fuel? Hmm. I think I might grab it. 
I'll get the trailer turned ready for going. Detach the trailer. Go and grab that scout fuel trailer. Bring it back. Hey there. Now I do have the 500 litres in that trailer, but I'm going to try and not use those sort of little bonus things. Unless I'm really stuck. They don't fall in with the fish. There it is. And we're not going to do that. I'm going to pick it up with the uh, crane just because we can. See, I actually thought there was a top-mounted winch point, but there's not. Oh, well. Oh, well. This will keep the... Uh, this will keep the dolly out of the ground. Right, let's just end that, since I've kind of mucked up how I wanted to do it. Come on. Let's take it taking your dog for a walk. Back it up. Heal. He's good. No, I'll just readjust the crane slightly better. You just get in behind me. Keep your dolly out the ground. A bit better. Here we go. I think what I'll do is I'll lift the scout fuel trailer into the back of the sideboard trailer instead of using the winch. A little bit more work than I need to, I know, but it's a little bit more professional as well. Right, that there, crane mode again. Hopefully it'll just go up high enough. Not something you really want to be doing with fuel. I'm gonna just drop in there and I'll do. Don't mind how you lie. And you go. Okay. I think so. Like a professional. Right, store the crane. Let's go. Oh, what a connection. Yes, smooth like butter. Not. Right. Oh, I hear crashing about in the back. I hope that fuel trailer doesn't make a bid for freedom. We'll get to the Uncle Fish's part and he's been, he'll be gone. I know it's still that good. Yeah, look how pretty it is down here. And it's a nice road. Don't know how often I'll be up and down here, though. Nice and wide. Oh, not too wide. Oh. Well, if I didn't get it going up the way, I got him going down the way. Might even be worth leaving this 
high slot trailer down at this warehouse for future use that way I just need to bring a, a low saddle truck up yeah it's not did I say five slot? I meant six slot this is a good trailer right get rid of this consumables right slabs left right um just gonna leave the trailer somewhere here I think not in the way right detach Pull that fuel trailer out. Up you come. There you go. Hey, where should we put them? Alright, I'm just going to leave them at the side here. It doesn't matter. Try and put them down on his wheels. It was mentioned to uh, Gareth F. Left a comment. Why can't we can extend the winch on your crane? Why can't we extend the winch on your truck winch, your towing winch? You can reel in, but you can't let it out, which would be handy for going down steep hills. Anyway, good point. It probably has been mentioned to the devs. I'd like to think so anyway. Or the crane. We'll just park him. In fact, we'll just park him here because I think we can finish with him at the moment. And he needs fuel. Engine off. Yeah. Got a little quality of life details that they could implement, but I don't know if that's just to make the game that little bit more challenging with the winch not extending, that kind of stuff. Anyway, enough about that. Let's move on to the collab. Right, full of fuel, fully repaired. Let's head back to town, which is just somewhere up there. This shouldn't take long. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Oh, hello, Rain. That's pretty accurate for here, too. Sunny Scotland is now raining. It's a miserable drich day, as we would say. Very drish. Come on, get over those rocks. She's stealing at these speeds. This is such a good truck. We almost too powerful, but I like it. Just the fact is, you can use low saddle trailers on it, makes it such a more viable truck. Even though I've got a trailer pack with high saddles on it, but that's certainly not a vanilla thing. 
Just nice to make them all more usable. Okay, where's this trailer? Not in here. Okay, there's my trailer. Must be round the block. That one? No, there it is. I see in the background. Okay, back it up. We're in. Right, up to the factory. Oh, let's go out this gate. It's wider. Hey, am I going out the wrong way of the town? I need to go... Yeah, I need to go out that one and then take a right there. Okay. This won't take long either. We will have that warehouse, warehouse open today. Wadi. I don't know where that came from. Hard right. Hard right. Hard left. Hard left. stop. Yes, we're going to have a fine afternoon. I'm presuming it's the afternoon now. Okay, let's nose in again. Oh, I'm in a building. What was that? Oh, I was in a crane. Okay. Right. Oh, cargo management. Concrete slabs. Your finest concrete slabs. Whoop. Actually quite funny. Real life story. I've just hired an excavator with that uh, breaker, hecker bar they call it. And I've been breaking out concrete slabs in the ground just like that. Whew. That wasn't fun. Full of rebar as well. Industrial strength concrete. Well, it was kind of fun, because it was like, I don't often get a chance to play with those sort of excavator with those tools. Just a, a personal hire kind of thing, so a little bit of a learning curve. I like playing with big machinery, even though the excavator was kind of small. It was only a 1.6 ton, but, you know, it did the job. And we go. And left. Okay, back through town and out the other side. Don't need to worry about fuel. Nah, we've used 100 litres. Let's turn right in if we have to. I'll grab some fuel. May as well. Wasn't sure if we'd be taking the cola back to the garage or not for customising it further, but this seems to be a good load uh, configuration. 100 liters, spot on. Away we go.
I'll just leave it in high ratio at the moment just to get through this little section. Okay, very good. That's the easy bit done. Okay, now that we're about to go down into the muddy sections, I'm just going to quickly stop. Handbrake on. I can draw it up. Is there any shortcuts around here? I mean, to me, could you cut up over the hills here and back down again and miss out all of that section? That's the kind of shortcut that might be worth investigating. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will know the perfect answer. I don't know if that's very steep and you'll end up tipping over. But it does look like you could like squeeze through the trees. Somewhere up there. Might have to go on a little scouting trip. We went up here before, it worked. Get to high ratio. Oh, he does struggle a little bit with that. Only a little shortcut, but it does work. Keeps you out of the mud. This thing shouldn't really be struggling with the mud anyway. Handle that, no problem. Is it going to stay in high ratio all the way through? Looking promising. Keep going. Don't stall out. Oh, he's just... Must be a different kind of mud just there at the end. Look at the ambience. Rain is on, it's a, a low mist in the air. Yeah, it doesn't stay sunny for long in British Columbia, I'm not moving there. And Paddy has still got that, that hands down. It never rains there. Funny. I'd probably end up missing the rain a wee bit. I moved to a place that doesn't rain very much. Keep going. Boy, he struggles with that. I think it's a trailer that's, it's like, hauling a, an anchor through the mud there. Around the edge of this one. Turn, turn, turn. Ooh, oh, box. We are going to have a happy Uncle Fish. Up there, cargo management. We will get us a, a cutscene. Gosh, God, that was fast.
So, oh, that's getting us a gold tick. Ooh, okay. Can food factory is built. Uncle Fish will do this job as the task or contract. Great. Now, North Peak will get even more active and there'll be even more jobs. That's a warehouse is available. 18,950 cash and 2,110 XP. Right, okay. Well, let's back it up, see what we get. Cargo containers, okay. Metal rolls. Metal beams, oh, that's handy. Consumables. Right, so there's a lot of cargo, metal, beams, consumables. It's not a bad selection, actually. Right, get him out of there. And I'll stick him over on this side. Loads of room to play with. Oh, that's some set of brakes on this guy. The right, engine off. Okay, we need to figure out what we can do next, because we have a bit of time. So... I think we've got a few trucks out and about. Kolob, Tega, the Mac, Nazov, and another Azov. Ah, oh, okay. I'm thinking of nipping back through to Duncan Bay and doing something through there. So, on that basis, I hope we have enough trucks through there for whatever we want to do. But we will. So, Duncan Bay, here we come. Oh, there we are. Hold on. Global map. So that was canned food factory built. That's that gold tick. For regional... Uh, Progress, that was good, excellent, happy with that. Ah, yes, good old Duncan Bay. We still need to get things like this landslide open and the rock slide. Okay, so roads, we've got to focus on the roads to get them open and I think that's where we will start. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I get my my head in order of the logistics and where we're going and what we're going to use. So, I'll be right back. Welcome back to the garage. As you can see, we've jumped into the Pacific P12W Blue Line X. This is a mod, and I thought this is kind of in keeping with the region-ish. I am not too sure, but it looks apart. Only thing I've done is I put the low saddle on the back of this. We've still got the crane, as you can see at the back, and that's what we're going to use. It's all well previously kitted out for us, so pretty good. Let's get out the garage. So there we go. It's a long chassis, but I have already prepped uh, the six slot trailer that I like to use, ready for going, save me hunting for it. So we are good to go, and it's a nice bright day today. Through in Duncan Bay. Only thing is, because this truck is so high right off the bat I use, I need to use the crane to get the trailer onto the low saddle never mind the high saddle but that's it there and we're going to do rock slide a rock slide which involves the concrete slab but also the other task in fact am I going to be oh, that'll do, let's get the crane um, we need two concrete slabs one for the rock slide and one for the other a landslide nearby so I'm going to grab two of them which is half the reason for this bigger trailer right, up we go oh, he hasn't got the strength to lift okay, that's unusual, there we go up and a little bit that'll do right, store the crane and attach the trailer. So on the map, we're back at the garage. As you can see, landslide on the road. That requires concrete slab and service spare parts. Exactly the same as rock slide does. So we're going to grab two of these all the way from the factory in the north. That's why another reason I'm using this big truck, because it'll be easier to get through. And then we'll come back. We'll pick up two lots of service spare parts from down here. Then we'll go north to the rock slide and then back across opening up this road to finish with two in one go and that lets us get either the truck and trailer back towards the garage and trailer store should that be what we need to do with it at the end nice and easy okay that's you up to speed let's go and we're not going to cross the ferry we're going to go the other way yeah we'll go the other way just because not because we're saving money just because of any glitches that that ferry has 
apparently got. And it's something to do with the mods as well, I think. And it gives us a chance to test drive this thing off-road again. It's been a while since I've been in this truck. Permanent diff lock, which is nice. This is a configuration I like, so you can choose all-wheel drive or not. That will save a bit of fuel if you need it. Put on just now. Another big behemoth of a truck. Who needs a ferry? Save the 750 cash and all. Not that I really need to save any money with the amount of money that we do have. Oh, he's just running out of power there to get up. Excellent. Okay. Now, I could have used a shorter trailer and maybe just done the service spare parts. Because there's only one service parts for each and just used a two-slot load bed. But I just kind of like using this trailer, even though it does slide about the road quite a lot. It's bouncing off of every lamp post that goes or telegraph pole. And our nice day has turned to a rainy one. Of course. Whoa, did I just hit that fuel trailer? I have no idea. But that's pretty fast, but oh, okay, I'm going across there. Pretty fast, high ratio. Without it being too fast. But as you can see, this is a combination, and I think it'll be time for a jump cut because we're going to have to come back this route anyway. So, save say, seeing it twice, it'll be more interesting once I'm loaded up. And hopefully the rain will be off. So I will see you at the pickup point in the northeast corner. Okay, welcome to the factory. Sun is shining. Rain has just stopped. And I did pick up a little bit of damage to the suspension. I had a rock at the side of the road. But that's fine. We'll survive. Right, cargo management. We'll have some of your finest concrete slabs again. I'm only going to take two, I'm tempted to take three just in case, but I had a quick look through some of the tasks and I couldn't find anything requiring more slabs immediately. There might be contracts though, but this will do. And we'll get the two service pair parts in the back of that. I don't think we'll manage that in a one turn, so round we go. This thing made it through the mud, absolutely no problem. Oh, the other thing I, st I did test, it's got two suspension options, one's stock and one is slightly stiffer suspension, but it's like active, I'll show you right now, uh, change suspension mode. So it is active suspension and it raises it, it raises it up quite a bit. So we'll just give that a go. Not that it was certainly dragging anything in the mud getting here. Look at oh no! Ooh. Couldn't steer away from the tree. It's got slightly slow steering, which has caught me out a couple of times. Oh, okay, come on, where am I? Oh, there we go. Don't know what I was struggling there with. Okay, I didn't think that this thing would struggle with two concrete slabs. High ratio is just steamboat through everything. Oh, I definitely feel the way with the extra slabs, that's for sure. That is for sure. Can I get into high ratio? Not quite. Hmm. 
There was two gearbox. This is obviously the the slightly more off-road variant, but for medium weight trailers, so you're slightly faster in high ratio. There is the other gearbox, which is for heavy stuff, so it's a bit slower. But I don't know if it'll then give you more torque just to get moving. I am tempted to switch it because you don't tend to want to go too fast when you're pulling some of these heavy loads. I mean, that's me in high ratio again. I know, Crikey, you can easily get caught out with the steering being slow. But you certainly make progress across the map. Little bit of understeer there. And there. Turn, turn, turn. That was the rocks I got the damage on there. I hit them a bit too fast. I think it was them. It was a set of rocks just like that. Whoa, no! Whoa! Did not expect that! On that corner. Have we got an autonomous winch? No, we don't. Ah, oh, well, that set me back a little bit. Didn't... Oh, man. Yeah, definitely can't start that one. Have the slabs are still in the trailer. Maybe with a good bit of recovery work, we can rescue this. And we have a Kenworth nearby. Okay. His first rescue job. If you're going to crash, that was as close as anywhere you could want to be. I'm still a massive fan of that engine sound. Nice and easy. Don't get carried away now. Well, I didn't expect the Pacific to tip over there. That was a surprise. Now, how are we going to do this? This thing having such a long chassis as well. Um, you know what, that tree will flatten. I'm going to reverse, pull him down the hill. Sorry, tree. Just so I can get closer into the middle winch points. Don't hit the trailer. Don't hit the tra- Why did you slide into the trailer? Don't, 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 don't. Stop, stop, stop. Get off the trailer. Ugh, the wheels just slid into there. That wasn't helpful. Right. Close to the rocks. Uh, they're not helping. I you're supposed to have mud tires on. Right, okay. Hard round. Let's get a nice central winch point. Try and pull the whole lot up in one go. Can I do it? Oh yes, we can. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Everything stop. God, blame me. Hurry up. Right, okay, we've, that worked. Stop engine, you can stay there now. Change trucks. Pack them back up. Oh, you can feel the weight suddenly appear when you, when you pack them up. Right, back it up. Engine on. So maybe slower is better in this case. Thank you. Kenworth, much appreciated. Back and onwards. I was looking. That's the beauty of having these spars on the trailers is sometimes your load will not completely tip out. So you kind of dodge the bullet with that. We do have the cranes, but why why use them if you don't need to? OK, 
Okay, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Where are we going? We're going back into town, yeah. We're going back into town for those service spare parts. Well, that could have been a much bigger disaster than it was. Through the chicanes, and nice and easy with the slower steering. Oh, sorry, sorry. Put it back up later. Oh! You know what, the shadows and that, I thought that bridge was out there for a second. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I am. So we're heading to the service hub. Okay. See, everything looks so different. I saw that kind of in the background thinking, is that the town? Oh man, I'm destroying everything. Yeah, everything looks different on the return journey. It's been a while since we've been in Duncan Bay, so that's my excuse. I'm gonna leave that scout fuel trailer there. It's been easier in this corner because it looks like it's a little bit off camber. And breathe back in town. Okay. I think I'm going to have to nose in and reverse back out because I'm not going to get turned in there. Not with the size of this truck. There we go. Right. Service spare part, please. Let's check I'm not putting in vehicle spare parts. Need to realign the trailer slightly for reversing back up that road. Ooh, that's heavy. Right, hopefully we'll get turned now. Okay. Oh, I got that. I got the other both signs in one go. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, fuel up ahead. May as well just top up while we're kind of passing. Oh, I've got another stop sign. Destroyed every sign and road barrier. And a truck in one go. Right. Rock slide. Let's get this one. Problem is, after Oxlade, we've got another one just to the north of it. I haven't even activated, so I don't know what's involved with that. So we'll need to investigate that and get that activated too. I hope it's not another concrete slab. The evening's setting in fast. I like building roads in a straight line. Keep going. Just run out of power. Come on. Oh, trailer's catching something there. Come on. Okay, 
quickly looking for places I can get turned for the reverse back out of this thing. Or do I go forwards and try? Right. Cargo management. Bye bye slab and bye bye service spare parts. Clear that rock slide. Service spare part. That's what I'm after. Okay, it's it's not bad. Right, so great job. Now anyone can travel here freely. Yes, 6,250 cash, 650 XP. But if you look at the map, you can only go potentially as far as temporary measures is. It looks like you can go around that. Not sure if that's a massive eroded part, maybe. It's not far. I think we should move forwards and activate it and then get turned. Squeeze through here, lights are on. Oh, they even got a cabin with a barrier. Hit the cone, yeah. Oh, look at those fallen telegraph poles. They are lethal. Give that a wide berth and I'll take out that sign too. Only got cash for taking out signs. What's this? That's a big hole in the road there. Right, okay. We are in. Show task. The paved road has been washed away. The road workers obviously neglected, neglected their jobs. We have no time for construction. We need a wooden bridge as a temporary detour. Okay. Wooden's easy. Two short logs. Okay. Right, we need to get turned. Oh, man. Maybe we go forwards, turn up at this house, and then come back, because then we're going to go straight through, all the way back, and get a landslide on the road done as well. Deep breath, and over we go. There's logs in the water there. You can just kind of see them, but it's certainly an easy crossing anyway. Can we get turned in that driveway? I think we possibly can. There's another fallen telegraph pole. Not gonna hit it, don't get it, don't hit it, don't hit it. I haven't angled very well for this turn. Come on, trailer, round you go. Oh, what? You don't have a winch point on that telegraph pole. What sort of a telegraph pole do you call yourself? Um, right, up over the rocks. Not pretty, but it works. It has suddenly got very dark. Right, let's... Unfortunately, we're going to have to sleep at that guy's house. I hope you won't mind. Let's get it around to daytime. So, 20 past 8. That's... Get the light back off again. Okay. Final destination. I need to activate the task. And I should have done that in the map. I'm sorry. It is... Where is it gone? Landslide on the road? Landslide on the road. I reckon you could get through that anyway. A little bit of a jump on the way out. Right, that's passable. Right, watch out for this telegraph pole. Way we go, way we go. Oh, 
Whoa, what was tipping me over there? Oh, that big boulder. Okay. Watch out for that, guys. That doesn't move. Nor does that one. They're well glued in place. Poor Pacific's getting a right old battering. He's been crashed, he's been rammed into rocks and stuff. I'm quite glad to get back to the garage just for some maintenance. Come on, eve up the hill. Back in town. Not going to bother with fuel. We've got 240 litres, and this Pacific's going back to the garage after this uh, this task. That's fine. Okay, right down this ramp. So let's take it wide. again in for a swim more fun doing it this way than it is in the ferry. You can go through here. I should have probably gone round the garage actually. That looks like a very tight corner. Am I going up there or am I? I am going up there. Mm, okay, yeah, back it up. Let's go around the garage. That did not hit that. That had a super wide hitbox. Up the hill we go. It's a nice wee spate of road openings. That's three in the previous episode, two in this one. Let's do it. Ugh, didn't even take it all away. Did a great job. This was an important part. Yeah, 1,050 cash and 920 XP. That's not very good considering you're coming from the northeast corner of the map. A bit tight. Right, again, I need to re somehow reverse this huge thing down the hill. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Oh. Get off. Right, okay. Get off the barriers. Well, I knew that was going to happen. That's... 
curse. Why wouldn't you turn around? Because the rocks. Right, okay. Let's just stick him into the trees over here. Should get turned okay, I think. And it's not pretty, but it works. Yes. And what I'll probably do is I'll leave this trailer out so I've got one available to me because it is a very handy trailer. I might just leave it at the side of these cones just there actually. So, oh, stop. Right there. Nice. Easy to get loaded back up again and you come out the garage. Back in the garage we go. Before I stick him in the garage, I'll just stop in the box and I'm going to call that an episode. A little bit of a, a nice change to be back in Duncan Bay. Um, two roads opened, one slight mishap in the Pacific, which was recovered quite well by the Kenworth, even though uh, I wasn't expecting to use him for that. But guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That'll be appearing above my head. Uh, and you will see me again very soon. Bye for now.